Adding internal bird cages to independent scaffolds on Smart Estimator. We're going to start in the Schedule It module by entering the dimensions of the spaces we wish to fill. Um, so we select the birdcage scaffold, enter the length, um, our required height for the internal birdcage, and the width. Okay, the particular scaffold we're working on has got three internal spaces because of the party wall, so we're going to create those now. Um, if you don't know the internal dimensions of the scaffold, um, you can obtain them using draw plan uh, and there's a small tip on how to do this at the end of this video so skip to the end uh, to see how to do that once we've put our dimensions in doing our last height now uh, we can then go to model it you can see we've got three bird cages in a line they're not um, in the correct places on the model so we're going to drag them in to fill those internal spaces using the move scaffold tool now I find with the move scaffold tool it does not like going diagonally so it works best if you move um, in a horizontal and then a vertical or a vertical then a horizontal whichever works for you um, and if you click once drag it let go of the scaffold and then click again to do the next direction you'll find it much easier to use once we've moved the scaffolds into position if required you can remove the internal guardrails by selecting one scaffold, getting the eraser tool, and just highlighting and erasing those guardrails as required. And then repeat that step. To remove the guardrails on the other two boat cages. If it's an unusual shape that's not rectangular, you'll need to use more than one bird cage to create the infill. For this example, we've got an L-shaped bird cage. I've already obtained the dimensions, so I'm going to go to schedule it. I'm going to create a bird cage. I'm going to set it to fill one portion of that L shape. So I'll set my dimensions as per the previous steps. Then I'm going to go and model it and I'm going to use the move scaffold again, top down view, to drag that bird cage into fill one portion of that L shape. Once that's in place, we're going to go back to schedule it and create the other half of that bird cage. Okay. So, another bird cage. Type in my new dimensions. Back to model it. Same again, drag and drop to get that into position. It's worth noting that when you're doing multiple bird cages to fill an internal like this, um, they will appear on the quote in the automatic description as two separate bird cages. Um, so there's a couple of ways of getting around that. You can either give them both the same name, uh, internal bird cage, for example, uh, or you can wipe out the automated descriptions and manually describe the internal bird cage um, for the sake of the, the quotation. Taking out the guardrails here, same as the previous step. Again, this is optional, depending on your, your wants and needs. Show all the scaffolds and it's all done. The first step is to ascertain the internal dimensions that you need to fill. If you go to BIM Toolbox and show the scaffolds, you can use the Draw New Independent tool to measure 
to different lengths. Please note that we are only clicking on the first point and not the second point so as not to create a scaffold. So we click once in a corner here, stretch it out and we can see the dimension there is 8 meters. If we click draw new independent again, it breaks it off and we can choose another one, click in the corner, measure 8.5 meters and then we go back to draw new independent to break it off and get the last dimension 